Alright guys, welcome back to uh, Gats and Grips. As you know, I am Harley Boy 74. Uh, if you're new to my channel, do me a favor, like, subscribe, give me a comment, dislike, whatever. Uh, hit the notification bell. I appreciate that as always. Before we even get started, of course, I want to give a uh, shout out to uh, Body by Black. Um, check them out, bodybyblack.com. Um, they specialize in fitness. Um, nutrition uh, they sell all kinds of stuff from clothing to shoes to custom face masks um, CBD products the list just goes on and on also they have the latest of gas and greer uh, gas and grips gear um, I appreciate that for uh, for them putting you know my stuff on their on their channel much respect uh, to them for showing me so much love so I got to show love back okay today uh, we're gonna do something kind of different I got a I um, request a comment on my last video or the video before that one actually um, requesting you know saying that um, they appreciated you know a uh, woman's perspective on my channel as well and stuff like that um, they were saying that they you know they're trying to get their significant others into this um, world or realm whatever you want to call it uh, so they appreciated seeing that you know and uh, kind of asked if they could see more of that um, I don't know my answer to that, hell yeah, I can do that. So, without any further ado, let's get it. Oh, I'm not gonna do a lot of talking today. Uh, I know sometimes I tend to babble off when I'm talking about guns and stuff like that, but hey, I'm a, I'm a gun nuts, gun nuts, what do you expect? Anyway, um, but I, I figured this one, I do probably show a lot more shooting than I do uh, talking, so I'm gonna make this quick and quick and easy and simple all right so first gun i'm going to show today is ruger lc9s chambered in nine millimeter Okay, we are clear with this one. Um, like I said, this is the Ruger uh, LC9S. Uh, awesome gun, it belongs to a friend of mine, of course. Um, this thing was, it was cool to shoot, man. I, I really liked it. I, I would love to have it as, as a backup uh, gun or something like that. Uh, polymer frame, steel slide. Um, I, I don't know if, if they had it, if she bought it like that or, or what, man, but that's that's cool. I like the, the artwork that's put on it. Um, Hulk sleeve grip uh, magazine does have the pinky extension so for somebody with small hands of course it works perfect Ruger LC 9s that's all I'm gonna say about it I love it you know but we definitely gonna get a female's perspective perspective on it as well take on this gun I really do like it let me clear this first actually all right we're clear um, I really do like this gun however with it being a little lightweight the recoil on it was a little much um, nine millimeter is my favorite gun to shoot but yeah and I actually you know love the design so um, to his friend's wife I really like it. Oh well, yeah, man, Ruger LC9S. Uh, thumbs up, you know. Thanks for going on for letting me borrow it. Except no substitute. This is a Springfield Armory, 1911. TRP chambered in 45.
okay we're clear uh this gun uh like i said it is a 1911 it you know anybody knows me i'm a big 1911 fan so if i get a chance to put one of these on my um channel hell yeah you know uh, this is like i said springfoot armory um springfoot armory actually uh this is actually a um replica of the um professional model um little story behind that springfield had an opportunity to make a 1911 for the fbi's hostage response team so they made the 1911 uh professional model or whatever uh then they decided of course that was going to be in big demand for the public but uh it was extremely pricey so they wanted to make a replica but you know a little bit cheaper the good thing was though that they did not go cheap on the parts you know um so this is the replica of that uh professional model um there are a couple of differences though the trp this is the trp model trp model does have the front and rear serrations the fbi professional model does not trp has the uh three hole drilled um trigger and hammer while the professional model has the solid grip uh, uh trigger and handle uh, i'm sorry uh but um you know the grip they have different um differences in the grip you know just small changes like that man but i mean this is still an extremely expensive gun man and it was an honor to shoot i loved it i love 45 acp so it, it was right down my alley man i mean this is this is the first time i've even held a gun that's this expensive 1911 wise you know i i, I loved it. it it was you know uh, my girl got to shoot it too. She loved it. You know, check out what she had to say. My input on this 1911. I love 1911. However, for whatever reason with this one, it just seemed a little different from, you know, my boyfriend's gun. Um, he has a 1911 as well, and I love his. This one, for whatever reason, I could not grip it well. Actually, let me clean this. Okay, we're clear. Um, I couldn't grip it well. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, maybe it was uh, greased up a little too much, but I did enjoy this. Um, got a pretty good, powerful bang with it. Springfield Armory 1911, man, except no substitute. I've seen this gun before. It's actually mine. I brought I brought it out in, in one of my first um, collection of videos, but I brought it. I'm just bringing it out again because um, I needed to take it to the range and put some wear on it. ATI Omni Hybrid PDE P4 AR pistol, chambered in 223 556. Yeah. Okay, we're clear on this one. I'm not gonna really give no review on this one because you've seen it before. Um, only difference I did was put a different sight on there. And it, you know, this thing is, it, it really pissed me off because this is a $170 sight that my girl actually bought uh, and, and you know, let me put it on mine. And I've never used it. it. It always fit on here fine, but take it to the range the first day and now it's all wobbly and stuff. So I, I don't know what's up with that, man. But anyway, uh, I, I've, I've, I was, I've always loved this pistol, man. 7.5 inch barrel, we already know. Um, my girl finally got to shoot it. Well, she shot it before, but um, she's finally given her review on what she thinks of it as well. Okay, y'all all know that I love ARs. Um, this one we did have quite a bit fun rapid shooting uh, and I think that's you know the reason why I like the ARs that whole rapid shooting thing kind of turns me on a little bit um, there's nothing bad or good to say about this gun you know I've already you know 
shot this several times. I love it. And eventually I'll get one. This is my uh, bedside uh, gun. I might even make it my, uh, my my car, you know, keep it in my car, my truck gun, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, um, except no substitutes. I love it, always will. This is a Ruger Mini 30. Ruger Mini 30. Chambered in 7.62 by 39. Okay, like I said, this is a Ruger Mini 30, chambered in 762 by 39, black polymer uh, lower, uh, what they call a black synthetic upper, um, foldable stock, 30 round clip, flash uh, suppressor. This gun was very fun to shoot, it was very accurate. Um, the only thing, uh, bad thing I will say about this gun is the barrel heats up quicker than normal. So after X amount of shots, the accuracy, st the accuracy starts to decline, but it, it, so what? You know, this is a great shooting gun. I loved it, man. And uh, yeah, to this one, I'll, I'll say except no substitutes as well. It was good, you know. Baby got a chance to shoot this gun, so she'll definitely give you her perspective on it as well. I've actually never shot one of these before. Um, I enjoyed it. I really did like it. Let's clear it first. So, um, yeah, I don't have any, you know, bad things to say about this. I, this out of all the guns we shot, this was actually going to be my favorite. Uh, it shot real smooth. Uh, don't really have anything, you know, bad to say about it. Although it did jam on me one time, but I think it was just I got too excited with the whole rapid fire thing. <laughs> so, that's it. Hey man, I love it. Like I say, I'm not going to go long into these videos this time until real short. If you want something in depth about any of these weapons, let me know and I'll do it in another video. But until then, accept no substitute. Okay guys, usually I save the best for last, but I really didn't have a best for last this time. I mean, because I like all of them so much. So I, I didn't rank any of them, but the one that I did have the most fun with was this one. Okay, this is the uh, M11-9 by Cobra, chambered in nine millimeter. I'm gonna try not to go too long into this one, man, but I, I had so much fun. I think Baby had a lot of fun with this thing too, man. Uh, it's awesome. I know a lot of people um, refer to this as the Mac 11, but it's actually the M11. The difference between the Mac 11 and this uh, is the Mac 11 is actually a 380 ACP submachine gun. Okay, the M11-9 is a nine millimeter. That's pretty much the only difference. So uh, it was awesome. I did get to shoot it. With this, uh, you know, this is not a suppressor. This is just pretty much an extender, uh, so you can hold on to the uh, to the gun better and get a little bit better stability. So I shot it. Uh, I shot the gun with this on.
and without. Either way, it was a lot of fun. I um, I went through a lot of ammo with this gun, man. It, it was just great, you know. Um, like I say, it's not not the favorite or anything like that, but um, I had the most fun with this gun. I really enjoyed it, you know. Um, like I say, baby got to shoot this gun too, so she'll give you her perspective on it as well. So this one right here, I like the way it looks. It looks like one of these like cool little machine looking guns. Um, however, this was probably gonna be my least favorite shooting only because I'm not a hip fire kind of person. I either like to shoot from the shoulder or out, you know, straight out. Um, that whole hip fire shooting, it just seems weird. I don't know where I'm aiming at. Yeah, that's just not for me. But in the meantime, um, I'm gonna clear it. You're gonna have to edit that. <laughs> Please stop. You see how she felt about that? M11-9, chambered in nine millimeter. Uh, I love this gun, man. Um, I don't know where I'd be able to find one because this one isn't mine. I don't know where I'd be able to find one like this, but I may see if I can buy this one. Another story for another time. Anyway, M11-9, chambered in nine millimeter, except no substitute. Okay, guys, you know me as always. I like short, sweet, not long and boring. I hope this one wasn't too long. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, I appreciate you guys for being on my channel. I appreciate for all those who subscribe to my channel, who comment, who send the likes. Uh, I, I love it, man. Like I say, I can't do it without you guys, so I appreciate it so much. As I always say, love yourself, love each other. Peace.